Hi, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to take a look at upgrading Pi-hole from the standard DNS mask for DNS to the Pi-hole specific FTL DNS, which is basically DNS mask plus some extra stuff that the Pi-hole project people have added in. So let's get started. All right, so we are currently logged into our Pi Hole machine, virtual machine, and we are going to update from the traditional DNS mask uh, DNS server that's been built into Pi Hole since the beginning, and we are going to use the uh, enhanced uh, Pi Hole specific faster than light DNS server instead. Here we are at the command line and we're going to enter some commands to make this possible. The first is echo quote FTLDNS quote space pipe space sudo t space slash etsy slash piehole slash FTL branch and we hit enter. Next, we're going to enter pihole checkout core FTL DNS. Please note that changing branches severely alters your pihole subsystems. Features that work on the master branch may not on a development branch. This feature is not supported unless a Pi-hole developer explicitly asks, have you read and understood this? Yes. And we wait a minute or two. All right. Current Pi Hole version is 3.3.1-136-GA7E7680. Current admin LTE version is 3.3. FTL version is dev-5ECAB0A. So next command is Pi Hole. Check out web FTL DNS. Again, we say yes. And we are going to wait again. Already up to date. And just for good measure, we will do pie hole check out core. FTL DNS and yes again just to make sure everything is where we need to be All right, we'll load up Chrome and we'll take a look. So far, so good. Go ahead and hit login and enter our password. And we've got the latest and greatest update of Pi Hole. As you can see down at the bottom, we are running the FTL DNS version. And the web version is on FTL DNS. And it's FTL uh, version uh, VDEV, uh, blah, blah, blah. So 
Not too much difference from the stock pie hole on the surface, but there are extra pieces enabled with using the FTL uh, DNS server instead of the stock DNS mask. If you've already got a running pie hole, you may want to experiment with this. Always make a backup first. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell icon, and hopefully you'll get notifications. You should get notifications, but uh, things aren't always as re reliable as they claim to be. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.